Welcome to Talking Heads on USA Global TV, starring the one and only wonderful Dr. Jacqueline. It's a prestigious place where world-class influencers and experts meet, and where you'll find the most trusted advisors and coaches for all things in life and business. Visit usaglobaltv.com to sign up for our newsletter, get the value you need, and be first in line to learn about events and giveaways and other valuable content. Connect with us. Email Dr. Jacqueline at usaglobaltv.com to talk about how you can become part of USA Global TV. That's USA Global TV, where the doctor is always in. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is USA Global TV and Radio. I'm Dr. Jacqueline Kerbeck. I'm the president, founder, and chief listening officer here at our network. Our show today is the film and music show. Joining me is the star of our show. She is the internationally award-winning singer, songwriter, producer, novelist, vocal coach, expert presenter on Talking Heads, co-host, and elevated listener. It's Dr. Madeline Chan. Let's welcome her to the show. Hello. Hey. Hi, Dr. Jacqueline. Hello, viewers. Hey. Hello. Um, Good to have you with us today. Yeah. And, uh, another fabulous day there in the United Kingdom. Tell us what's been going on over there. Well, it's been it's been raining quite heavily, actually. It's been quite fresh as well because it's been really good for um, the plants and everything. But yeah, it is. But I always say that um, the rain is for like purification. So exactly. um, yeah, and it's it's so nice when you go out there. I used to do like go out and do rain dances. <laughs> yeah, I know. When I was younger, I used to just go out in my clothes and just go out and in the garden and just dance in the rain. And it, it's so exhilarating. I mean, you see it in romantic films, don't you? When you see a couple kind of meeting each other and he picks her up and it's raining like crazy. And then she's soaked to the skin. And the next second, literally the split next second, she's all dry and looking perfect, makeup looking fab. <laughs> uh, I mean that is the film right that is yeah, <laughs> that is talking exactly. about film <laughs> exactly it's that cleansing that cathartic cleansing which is great and it I would is. think you know, that actors and people in the movie business the music business they need that cathartism they need that cleansing and that refreshing because it's a tough business isn't it Oh, it, yes, absolutely. From what I have experienced and from my friends as well, you have to have, in the olden days, it was considered a second thick skin. you got to have a thick skin in order to put up with um, the manipulation because it is a game. Well, it was a game anyway. I mean, especially when um, before it was in, in internet and it was with corporate companies, it's almost um, small artists, independent artists, uh, couldn't get a, a look in. So it was all about um, well, high kudos managers that have already groomed their artists for the corporate companies. But thank goodness for the positive and world changing uh, uh internet okay there is bad side darker side to the internet but let's focus on the the positive side and what it's brought brought the world much closer and uh, i mean who would have thought in the 1980s that there would be from the 1980s and then you think forward like 10 years forward there would be um, or 15 years forward, there would be um, an opportunity for people to sell uh, their music online instead of relying on, um, you know, shops, high street shops, um, relying on big corporate labels that totally had the full control. Um, so thank, thank, you know, thank the universe Um for the internet because it's brought us much closer and it's given us many more opportunities 
But what I wanted to talk to today about, if it's okay, Dr. Jacqueline, is um, 3D music industry compared to a 5D music industry. Oh, now you're thinking, aren't you? What do you think, Dr. Jacqueline? What do you feel in your terms is a 3D music industry? Wow, 3D music industry. Well, mm. there's uh, an international celebrity who's um, really trashed his career because of some racist comments that he's made. And when I read about all of his worldly belongings and all the contracts that he has, uh, to me, that's all 3D. And that's all bye-bye, yeah. going bye-bye. Um, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah, absolutely. You're spot on there. Absolutely. There some people have got their ego to the point of where and it's not because they didn't go into the industry. They went they went in the industry with their creative heart and with their confidence. However, the people that are supporting them have made them have pushed them to be higher and better than anybody else and that as if as if the world owes them big time and everyone else is beneath them and um it's really sad that for something that sets out on your journey when you start writing putting something to paper singing that melody putting together the music and it's so from the heart and inspiration and it's got such a buzz, a high energy. And then suddenly that energy, it, it turns, it turns quite nasty. It can turn ugly. Sorry, not nasty, but ugly. It turns ugly. And that's really sad about the 3D music industry not just the music industry to be honest even the filming industry um so we've come to that pinnacle point where the normal general public will not put up anymore they're not so taken in by the journey of a celebrity of making them bigger and better than life so things have changed. So I believe, for example, I've been part of shows where because the person is a high celebrity, then they, of course, and, and it's only right that they get promoted, but the other supporting acts, the smaller acts, which are still part of the bill which are still part of the show and not even given that recognition that is a 3d business you see the way i look at it is okay you've got the celebrity that is a pinnacle point of the show so that's like the top of a pyramid like the top part but what about the the supporting structure of it and that's where we need to change this is where we need to change our mind our mind shift and our heart shift to realize that in 5d a 5d music industry or a film industry structure um it will be hard for it to exist on a 3d structure because the energy's changed, meaning basically that um, as well as having the top part of your pyramid, okay, your top part, you need that structure. And the structure is all the acts that are part of the show. So therefore, it's one big source. They're all part of the source. Now, unfortunately, in 3D and the way it's been run, it's always about the top managers with the top acts. They get presidents. Yes, that's fine. They get presidents. But please, let's not 
neglect the supporting structure, the artists that are supporting it. Because let's just say, if it's just the celebrity and there's no other acts, then it doesn't really uh, magnify the, 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 the head act, really. So that's why you need the structure. So 5D is about acknowledging everyone that's part of the structure rather than just the top part, if you understand what I mean. What do you think, Dr. Jacqueline? Yeah, what I you, think that what's was, your feelings? That was a that? lot of uh, good information, a lot of insights to think about. And I think what's really important is for people to follow their heart yeah. and to not get mired into or roped into really any of the 3D elements that or behaviors that take place in these industries, the entertainment industries, as well as others. It's not just the entertainment industry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is, it's because it's, it's manipulation. It's fear mongering. Creativity is not meant to be fear mongering unless you're actually promoting a film that's um, bringing out the fear of it, meaning if it's about fear, that's fair enough, but it's not meant to be fear mongering. And there's just too much of it where people, because of the peer pressure, they change their whole music. They change their whole style to fit with someone who says, well, if you change it to this, then you're going to be a big success. Well, it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot yeah. of, uh, personal drive and determination because if the powers to be are telling you you need to change this that or the other and you really want to accomplish what it is that you know you see in in your dream about what you can become and and who you can impact that's a tough decision to make if you're being told change xyz or you're not going to have any opportunity in this industry but some people walk away and they become independent artists. Tell us about that. Yes, they do. Yes. Um, if their drive and their passion is um, strong enough and they have enough belief in themselves, some people just um, continue on their path of writing their music, singing their songs, and just keep on, um, how can I say, keep evolving, keep contributing to their talents um going on the circuit going out on the street and 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 uh being um what do you call them uh when they play and people give money oh my goodness i've forgotten the word but um the main thing what i'm trying to say is that you have to keep contributing you have to keep adding on each day you cannot just leave it and then just expect someone to um, discover you because that is not the case. There's no such thing as an overnight success. Even with manufactured boy band, girl bands, there's no such thing as an overnight success. The overnight success is just to make it sound wow factor when really behind it is years and years of dedication, determination and self-belief because you do get you do get your lessons that come in and the lessons come in to see whether you're worthy to see whether you can handle um the different uh stages of uh, popularity of fame as they say so it's all part of uh of the process so um yeah people have to realize that's that's what you have to do once you go on this path like you, if you want to become an artist or um, an actress, even for example, or an actor, um, yeah, it's exciting, exhilarating. It is a test of your patience. It is also you will find people who kind of claim to be your friends, but then, um, for example, I was, I, I'll just relay a story. A few, uh, two weeks ago, I was at the showcase of actors and it was fantastic how they were doing a fantastic um, 
performance using the prop of the pub and basing their script around the pub as visitors to the pub with different dramas and different stories and somehow it all tied in. Now they were really, really good friends and connected, but because there was industry people, like people from casting directors, film directors, um, agents, all of a sudden the energy, as soon as they'd finished this fantastic representation of this amazing script, of taking different parts of a film and putting it all into the context of this pub. It was fantastic, it was really great. When it came to um, going downstairs to circulate, I noticed the energy changed and it was almost like compete, compete, compete. Oh, I wanna be the first one to get signed. I wanna be the first one to get noticed. And I thought how sad that was in the way that they were all shining gloriously in there. And then suddenly they all turned into this, oh, you know, like going for the prize, everyone all at once going for the prize. And I just felt it's such a shame that, we have to we have to do this we, we, we the business is like this it's um i don't know what's your thoughts on on this dr jacqueline because i find it just really weird yeah it's it's really interesting um let's talk a little bit about it. our guest is here by the way Claudia is she is here, here. Yeah, fabulous her, her camera is not turned on though so uh, claudia if you can hear us please do turn on your camera do, do. <laughs> okay she doesn't have it turned on here i nope is she there on you. She's not there. Her, she's okay. there, but she's not there yet. So let's wait okay. till she has her camera turned yeah. on. Oh, there she is. Let's bring her out. Uh, do you want to do a quick intro? Yeah. Well, I just want to say that we are so, so lucky and so, you know, in, you know, on the spot, spontaneous. This is how life is. Here she is. She's an amazing, she's a beautiful woman. She has such a passion. Her uh, heart is just there, and she's just a wonderful model, an amazing actress, wise beyond her years. And um, she challenges herself, and she's really interested in the way of helping people to identify the secret within themselves. Because, well, I will let her, I will let Claudia Machado um, tell and reveal what the secret is with Claudio Machado. Here she is. Welcome to the show. Hi, hi everyone. Hi, hi. nice to so see you again just, for a little while. Yeah. Yes, I'm so glad to be here, to be honest. So thank you so much, Madeline. Um, I'm just very honored to be here uh, with all of you. Uh, Madeline, you know, thank you so much for your kind words, really. Um, so, I'm, you know, I have set up my house recently because I wanted my house really to be uh, shown everything in that I believe and um, also to, how I said, to expose all, all my willings and manifest all my desires. So as you can see on my back, oh, that way, you see, <laughs> um, so that is a puzzle and that is also a frame and this is precisely how I see myself. Life is a puzzle and we're building, you know, kind of a story with our lives. And this is how I believe acting is for me. I didn't know myself as an actress. I didn't know even that I had the skills to do so. But I always was a creative, um, you know, young children who loves to perform in front of the family, loves to make people laugh, loves to support people. And for me, acting is, is also a therapy. And I discovered that uh, 
you know, when I started as a nurse and how I loved to entertain my patients and make them feeling happy, even when the day was actually not going so well. Um, so acting for me also was a way for avail myself from very dark side. Um, I had personal and also familiar problems um, since I was a child. So I had some kind of traumas and um, me performing with my mirrors and speaking sometimes with, to my own self, nobody was around and was definitely it is something magic. So for me, acting is not about being on a red carpet in Hollywood, is more than that. And I'm saying this for everyone, um, that you have to have a passion. Independently, if you look good, if you look bad for facing the camera, as soon as you're doing your work with passion and you are, you know, genuine, uh, you know, by so, um, and that's why I'm here, you know, independently. Sometimes I do, you know, lives at work, but I always find a way. Nursing for me um, is not a limitation. Um, it's just a way of surviving. And I believe one day, as one of my big, big mentors says, um, I will be able to help more people and you know making them understand that the power of acting the power of nursing and they both that they, they can complement each other and um i i'm being i'm been facing loads of my colleagues saying oh my god you are just a nurse but why cannot be an actress as well why there is so much you know borders in between being an english or being a portuguese foreign actress being a nurse and also being an actress. So for me, there is no limitations in the world as soon as you manifest your desires, finding your secrets. And that's why I put it in brackets, cloudy secret, because you are, you know, unknown, but you will discover yourself if you reflect about your actions, if you reflect about your day, if you even reflect about your meaning and all, um, I mean, if you reflect about your existence. So that's when you discover who you are and potentially, um, I believe if everyone do this, you know, exercise, you will find marvelous things about yourself. So it's about finding the secrets. Wow. I have to say, I am so moved by the, the depth and wealth of information that you shared. I remember the first time I met you, you did a role play with Alec, if you recall, and you were talking about, um, you were just role playing about leaving nursing. So to your point, why can't people be more than one thing? It's, it's interesting because mm -hmm. I know for at least in my experience, when I was in corporate, I had a number of side gigs and I always had men saying to me, you don't know what you want to do because you're doing more than one thing. But yet men have been doing more than one thing since the beginning of time. And women can, we, we can be mothers, we can be business people, we can be actors. We, there's so many things we can be. It's about believing in yourself and being true to yourself. So thank you so much for really the beauty that you just shared here. Yeah, thank you, Claudia. Definitely. Um, I just, I, I'm, I'm also, I guess, with um, working as a nurse and uh, working, uh, getting to know people's um, uh, personalities and, the, and 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 being caring and being loving and compassionate. That obviously is going to um, strengthen you for some roles that you could play <laughs> in. <laughs> I don't know, like a general hospital role or something, or, you know? Definitely. Many definitely, different roles. Definitely. Um, you know, we are, uh, I see many films in which, um, obviously, there is lots of drama, and um, I, I can resonate some of, you know, the episodes and the scenes with my, with the scenes that I experienced as a nurse. Um, you know, and especially 
just a small topics about end of life, drug addiction, sexual abuse. They are, you know, at the moment, uh, subjects and themes that are currently on demand on the film industry. And yeah, I, you know, that's why I, I feel like more than an actress, I already experienced. So, and I feel how, how hard is that, you know, moments of speaking with somebody and trying to reassure that everything is going to be okay. Um, and yeah, definitely being a nurse is also because we have as a nurses, I don't know if he's part of the nursing program, um, but we also had psychology and um, we have some, you know, I played so many times, you know, with my teacher, we did like a ser serial of uh, role plays. And um, many times I perform as a, as a doctor or as a patient and is part of nursing as well. So I was, you know, so amazed with all the time it, I had to go to that lessons and, and, and play something else different and um, was very helpful as well. Wow. On top, I also did um, in, in also my home, I did a student film just with my phone camera and my friend, we decided to play something and um, it was also amazing. So you actually, if you are, you know, a student actor or an, an actor, an amateur, you can do everything, um, you know, with the resources we have, um, you know, nowadays, everything is possible. Mm -hmm. And you don't need to be like with a five star camera, you can do with your, you know, small phone, you can do your own video yeah I, I i agree with you technology has really gone has really taken it so far that i think even a film uh a full length feature film was filmed on a on a mobile mm -hmm. yeah I it's remember incredible that. Yeah. yeah 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 it is <laughs> so claudio i as i mentioned at the very beginning, I've seen a lot of growth in you. I see a lot of maturity, a lot of confidence. Are you feeling all those things? Um, I don't know if I don't know. I don't feel the confidence. I feel. I see that every time I challenge myself. So today I'm challenging myself by doing this. Tomorrow I will challenge myself. I'm very like tough um i'm very tough um and i don't know I, I this is who i am and i had this conversation this morning um with my with my lovely friend and designer that um sometimes i feel like if you're not able to do what you love what is life then what is life if if you cannot express yourself, you cannot. If you cannot wake up and and be happy for everything you achieved, and so far, sometimes I feel myself I have not completed certain tasks or you know approved tasks by society. So we start something but we didn't finish, and the reason why is because you lose the interest, you lose the passion. You, you perhaps you tried and you fail. But the good thing about this, and as my friend was mentioning, is at least you tried. And you tried, you experience, you, you gain something. And even though it can be emotionally, you know, an emotional experience, can be a professional experience, but at least you try. And... As soon as I tried acting, I feel every time I'm doing something, I just love and I want to do more. So, wow. I love that. I love that. Thank you for sharing that, Claudia. Um, <clears throat> what do you feel is your favorite roles you, you like to play or you want to play? Definitely, I love drama. Mm -hmm. uh, I love drama and... Uh, <laughs> I think sometimes I find myself a dramatic person, but uh, yeah, 
Um, I love drama and um, action. Essentially, that could challenge my physical, you know, uh, strength and, and, you know, capabilities. Definitely um, action. I is something that I really love. Um, and I always love to, to see many actors who has like, who are fighting and um, yeah, just love that excitement. Fantastic. Action drama. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah, I can relate to that. It's, so a question I have for you is when you are acting, what kind of feelings come up for you? Or are you able to take your own feelings and put them in a box somewhere or compartmentalize it? How does that work for you? Um, I feel like it is impossible you separate yourself from the character. I think you can, because as I mentioned, and the way I see is we are a human being uh, with different sections. And each section of us is still there independently if you know or not that that section of you is there. And this is the same with emotions, with feelings, with character, with your personality. Perhaps you have a certain aspect of your personality that you didn't uh, explore or you actually didn't know, but that's what acting is important for every single person because you exercise your personality. You're going to mold and you're going to find about, you know, amazing things or perhaps not so amazing things. But this is how I feel the human being is. We cannot separate ourselves from another human being. We can betray to be another person and use part of that compartment that we perhaps didn't experience or know in that character. And that's why we actors start to become emotionally intelligent about themselves, about the way that they live their lives and they feel their lives. I love that, actually, words that you've just brought through, Claudia, emotional intelligence. Mm. I really, I think that most people should be um, expanded and tested to bring out their emotional intelligence instead of their other part of their intelligence, <laughs> well, their emotions without the intelligence. Are you aware <laughs> that emotional intelligence is one of the key components under etiquette and manners. No, I wasn't. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I know I didn't. People think that etiquette and manners is just opening doors or the way you set the table, but it's actually how you treat other people. And when you lead your life through emotional intelligence, you treat people with respect and kindness. I wasn't aware of that at all. I actually thought, etiquette and manners were exactly what you said <laughs> you know the way that a table is displayed or you know how you know uh, manners just manners yeah Isn't that it's profound it's we have a show called the power of etiquette and manners it's on tomorrow yes. at 10 a.m isn't Eastern it with time. the beautiful gentleman philip sykes yes, philip yes. Sykes. yes. 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 so <laughs> just a quick digression so claudia what are some things that are coming up for you that you're really excited about that you can share with our audience? Um, so um, things exciting is, or the most exciting things is, the fact that I'm still doing acting and um, I'm currently working uh, in, a, in a production, it's going to be international production, production, sorry, production. Um, and yeah, I'm being casted for this movie. I don't want to really, you know, give so much detail because it's, I'm still working on it. And I believe, you know, sometimes if we manifest, you know, too many details about things, they perhaps cannot happen. So I really wanted this to happen so much. 
So yes, I'm currently working on my acting skills and also singing skills. And um, I promise I will be working hard. And um, this is what is for me, you know, the most exciting things because I don't give up. I will still keep going. Ah, that's brilliant. Thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah. And I understand exactly what you're talking about. You don't want to put too much out there <laughs> into the world. So congratulations and best wishes. We do have a couple of comments from one of our team members here, Ricky McKenna. Ricky writes, all we need to do, all we need to do different things throughout life. Oh, sorry. We all, hello. We all need to do different <laughs> things throughout life. Trying yeah. something new may always be thought of as scary until it's done. And we more than survived in quotes, we grow in confidence and capabilities. And she also writes, I love that about emotional intelligence. Thank you, Dr. Jacqueline. It is how you treat others that returns in the circle of life. Thank you, Ricky. Said, I appreciate Ricky. it. You can see Ricky tomorrow on the United Kitchens at 1 p.m. Eastern time, which in UK time tomorrow, that will be <laughs> 5 p.m. for this week only. I've taken it on board, Dr. Jacqueline. <laughs> so, uh, Dr. Chan or, or Claudio, yes. do you have any comments back for Ricky? Well, number one, thank you for watching and tuning in to the film yeah. and TV show, Ricky. And um, yeah, I've. Uh, it's really interesting in the way that she said that, Ricky said, you know, you can find your capabilities. You find your own strengths and capabilities by something that may be scary, but feel the fear and do it anyway, basically. Yeah, Ricky, totally, totally resonate with you. Love it. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. <laughs> Chan. Claudia, how about you? Um, thank you, Ricky, for, you know, uh, comment and, and to be present and also manifest part of, you know, your thoughts. Um, that's what I believe, you know, I had the teacher, um, a philosophy. She, she was a philosopher, actually, and she always told us, you know, human are, you know, beings that you made to um, interact and to live with each other. And we are a mirror of each other's and we learn with each other's. And definitely you being here um, is actually amazing. And thank you for sharing your, your you know, your thoughts and um, also your experience, perhaps you have some experience as well, something that you, some secrets you, you could you could share with us. And um, hopefully one day we have a chance to to know more about you. But um, thank you for, you know, your your comments. I really appreciate. And um, yeah, if if anyone has some comments, please show um, or, you know, share them uh, with us would be very important to hear from you. Outstanding. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Ricky has a follow up, which is cheers. Thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ricky. You know, that's what I love so much about this platform. We have people from all over the world interacting live and sharing education, inspiration and hope. And that's what we continue to do here. So I'm mm -hmm. just super overwhelmed with joy that we just every program i learned something new so thank you to you both of you thank you to ricky and to everyone else who's watching and who's listening uh we've we've come to the end of this episode we've got the wise ones right after this but claudia again you look fabulous you seem like you're at peace and in a really good place and i thank you again for doing the role plays from the very beginning for the yes. power of listening you might recognize um, claudia true. from the power of listening role plays. <laughs> <laughs> that love was it. amazing that was amazing i love that it's I just amazing it. how you've grown claudia from from doing role plays with dr jacqueline mm -hmm. to now doing feature films big films yeah. i mean wow well the That's, talent's there so yeah absolutely for sure for sure so we don't actually have any contact information for you claudia can you please go over and uh type it into the private chat or maybe dr chan can type it in for you i um, 
How can people reach out to you, Claudia, if they're like, yeah, you know what? I want to speak with her about her experience or just yeah, there was, brainstorm. There was your link for your bio and photos. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I, sent, and, I sent my link and that, that is like an explanation about me and, and also that is um, all uh, the information about my social media and everything. So maybe Perfect. it might be good just to like put it in the chat box. The, yeah, we'll put it into the chat the box for sure. Yeah. yeah. So, Claudia, I'm going to spotlight you again. If you can just close out the show with some message of hope and inspiration, that would be wonderful. Okay, so what I want to say for everyone, um, never give up. Believe or not, you are a secret of yourself and you just need this. See the secrets. And that's my message for you. Love it. Love it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much. And thank you for making the time to be here today. Thank you. All my all my pleasure and hope to see you soon. Absolutely. Thank you, Claudia. Success and happiness. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, Dr. Chan, thank you again for bringing Claudia back to the platform. And to your point, um, she's come a long way and yeah. those role plays yeah. were fabulous. I still appreciate them. They are in our trainings. So you want to talk a little bit about the power of listening because we're about yes. to launch the Elevated Listeners Alumni Association and you're a big part of what we do here at Elevated Listening. So share that with our audience as though they've never heard it before. Oh, okay. Well, power of Elevated Listening is about you tuning in to an inner power um an inner kind of energy that you can connect to it's almost like you're going to lift your ears and and elevate your listening so that you can hear something that you wouldn't normally hear because we all get focused well actually we don't get focused we get so occupied with everything that's going on in our mind with elevated listening and the power of listening um we basically um guide you to tune and connect to your higher learning abilities your higher listening abilities so that you can then apply to your life so when we need to listen when we're um in a conversation with someone or um when you're listening to um somebody who it, who who's asking for something you need to actually listen to actually what they are requesting and requiring it's very important it's very important to to try and listen to your body to listen when your body starts talking to you to listen to your heart what it's saying how it wants to express itself not to suppress it so that's what the power of listening is it's about having uh inter inter projectory um way of connecting to your um elevated way of listening attuning yourself to your inner power which will help you to which does in fact elevate your listening because you have to have elevated listening if you are going to tune in so that's what you're going to do on USA Global TV. Um, we have on the platform the courses. We have the courses about um, connecting to breath, union of breath, and bringing out our confidence of our voice. We have courses about learning about coming away from the trend, learning to understand what 3D was about, learning to understand its main purpose and why it was there and why it is not effective anymore in this life. So we have to attune to leading by our heart, which is 5D. So no, so you, we go through all this for you to understand it, understand about trends, um, and understand how to connect to your inner voice so you can apply to your life and change your life, which will have a positive impact in every way, in every part of your life.
So yes, please go on to drjacqueline.thinkific.com where you take the first step and you embrace the power of elevated listening. And of course, there is the listening community as well, which um, it's growing and you have to be part of this. This is the new wave. It's the new wave is the power of elevated listening and the listening community because this is a new energy that's arrived. So you've got to hop on, hop on that train, hop onto it because you know what? It will soon leave the port, but it'll come back again. It'll make its full circle and come back and pick you up again. But you might as well get, you might as well take the opportunity and get onto the train now. Yeah, you know what, Madeline, you bring up so many good points and thank you for sharing that. I, I think I'll just give a personal reflection. So I've worked and continue to work on my listening skills. And it's so evident to me when people are not listening at an elevated level. I just had an interview, I'm not gonna say exactly when it was, but it was recently. And the guest had out a pen and paper, which I don't know why they had out a pen and paper, but they were not looking at me several times. They were looking down. They were not actively listening. And the reason I bring this up is not to call anyone out, but when you know how to listen at an elevated level because you've been trained, you can see very clearly who is and who is not listening to. And so what starts to happen? The people who are not listening at an elevated level are no longer on the same page. They no longer have the same interests. They no longer have the same commitment. That's not a judgment. It's just they're at one place and you're at another place. So I think that we align ourselves with people who have similar interests. So even if it's family members or friends or it's people at work, you know who's actively listening and who's not. The other thing I want to share is I had a call today with somebody who was a guest on our platform and the person is coming on board as a team member. And I love his energy. We've spoken several times. And the thing that really made me take a step back, he said, I'm going to take your course, The Power of Listening, because I want to be in alignment with everything that you're doing, because what you're doing across the world is changing the way people look at things. And he said, I think I'm a good listener, but I don't know. And I'm never going to know until I test myself. And he said, I'm also having my business partner take the course as well. And I thought, wow. That is that's fabulous. That's, that's, that is groundbreaking. That's what is. we want. That's And you know, yeah. Dr. And, and you know this as right. I do. Sorry, we're getting crossover because of the seven second yeah. delay. But what I wanted to share was that you and I both know neither one of us is getting rich from these courses. We have priced <laughs> these courses at a ridiculously low rate. When you look at what the courses should be priced at. So therefore, when someone says I'm taking the course, I'm not thinking, wow, happy days are here for me. I'm going to go buy a new. No, I'm thinking, bless you for wanting yes. to learn more about how to listen. Yes, I absolutely agree with you in there. I mean, I, I put something today on Facebook about um, about money and abundance and in the way that so many people are looking at money in, in a different way, in a different format. It's not the end and be all, but it's the fuel for our journey. It's necessary, but it's not the everything of it. There's so much more to it. It's just it's just the petrol for the car, basically. That's why we need, that's why we desire and we require the abundance. Money is energy. And we have to learn to welcome and invite the energy of abundance, which is a form, of, it's money in this case. And we haven't to have a fear of it because what we have to do is invite it in in to have a different um, a heart, have a different mind shift to this and accept it on a different level, bring it in and expand it out and it, it will magnetize. That energy will magnetize the energy. That money will magnetize your, your energy on that level and bring it through, bring it in. Because if you're 
higher consciousness is attuned with the energy of abundance, which in this case is money, and your human consciousness is also on that same level, then you're going to draw it into your, or you're going to draw it in and magnetize it to you. It's the fear of the human consciousness of the old pattern of what money can do in good and evil. We need to come away from that and just know that money is abundance and it's what you do with the money. It's not the money itself that does the acts. It's what we do with the money that creates the acts. So therefore, we need to um, just bring in the abundance, the energy. And um, yeah, life will change. Yeah, and I got that today. I got that today. You know, Dr. Jacqueline, you know, when I sometimes wake up and I get the, I get, I start meditating, I start thinking, and then I go deeper, deeper into it. And then suddenly I get this, and these downloads or something. Um, so yeah, about uh, money. So yeah, that was yeah that's 5D money. That Yeah, today's <laughs> download was about receiving energy, abundance, money in a 5D perspective rather than 3D, which is good or evil or bad. We need yes, to rise absolutely. above that and magnetize it into us. So, hey, 2023, woo <laughs> Well, thank you for sharing that, my dearest friend. Uh, as you know, we're running out of time, so yeah. I'll just try to wrap this up quickly. When it comes to money, you and I have had so many conversations. You know, we're, we're very authentic with each other. And yes. as you know, I have big plans for this platform. This platform cost me a fortune, and I'm still at the point where I'm living off my savings for my personal bills and everything else that comes in to pay for this platform. And where I'm going with the platform, I don't know where the money's coming from. I don't know, but I'm going there. I'm not one of these people that goes, well, I'm no, and I'm not judging anyone. The money will come. It always does. If you do it the does. right thing, the money comes. So I want to end with this. There is a, a, an entrepreneur, he's extremely successful and he's very egotistical. He's always, he's on all these shows. I'm not going to go into who he is, but he's a, I don't know if he's a billionaire, but he's close. His own jet, he's always bragging. So he did something on social media I saw today and I thought it was very interesting and I thought of you. And I think the caption was, uh, money can't buy you happiness. And then he has this giant wad of $100 bills. And he or someone on his team have taken a black marker and on each $100 bill have written something. Money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you a jet, a car. And it goes through all of these things. And I have to go back and watch it, but I don't ever recall anything being on any of these bills about helping other people. It was all about shoes and bags. Materialism. And and, yeah. And I thought, wow, so 3D, but yet the money mm -hmm. keeps pouring in for him. It keeps pouring in. And I'm sure he does things to give back for other people. So the point yeah. of me bringing it up is I think that that's where the messaging from role models and air quotes, I think that's where it gets confusing and where people lose their way and they get angry. They give up on their passion on building their dream because the, these these in, these people who are motivational speakers and in positions of leadership they go to the money. It's always about the stuff and the money because it gives you power. But can I just intervene real quick? You know, yes. think about py pyramid selling, right? Pyramid selling. Yes. When people are there at the front, even with YouTube, the people that first began with YouTube channels, they're at the front of the pyramid, basically. They're pyramids, yeah. Therefore, they've made their fortunes. So they're still going to spin the same story. But the same story cannot apply because more and more people have got onto this. And the people, the lower you get to the pyramid, these people are not going to reach that top of the pyramid in the same structure 
that these people base their lives on. Everything changes and evolves. Therefore, we have to look at money as abundant. So we don't look at, oh, I need, you can say, oh, I, I'm going to put out to the universe, I need um, 10K every month. And then you say 10K every month, but then you've got to say how you're going to get the 10K. So you'll say, I need 10 people at um, a thousand pound uh, taking a course, for example, or any kind. Yeah. And then you put that out to the universe. You put out where you are helping. That 10K is then helping. You see happy, smiling faces, people changing, people happy. That is the energy that will bring the abundance through. Not about, I'll buy a plane, I'll buy a yacht, I'll buy this. That is so 3D. And this, they did accumulate that at that time when they began, because they were at the top of the pyramid. The top of the pyramid is not as powerful at the bottom, and it cannot be applied to the same strategy. And yet they will continue with that same strategy because they still have that power. They still have that materialism and, and uh, what they've accumulated and achieved. But it can no longer apply because more and more people have got onto YouTube. More and more people have, have, are, are, are going onto this pyramid. This pyramid is bulging. So we need... You need to build your own strategy. You need to build your own way and focus, honestly, beloved hearts, focus on the actual positive outcome of it rather than what the money will do for you to buy materialism, material goods. Well um, said, my friend. I love it. Thank you. That's a great I got like way a to bring fire. it all together. I got a fire that a went fire. through me. Just, I got fire then. <laughs> Fiery <Absolutely>. pyramid. <laughs> yes. We have to go there because our guests for the okay, next show so. are already contacting me. So, Dr. Chan, what's the best way for people to reach out to you? And who yes. would you like to contact you, especially for songs for you? Oh, for songs for you. Yeah. If you want a song, um, you've always dreamed of a song, uh, whether it's for a, a wedding, a birthday, uh, anything that's to do with your life that you want to celebrate, please contact me um, on songsforyou.co.uk and we will work. You go on to the website and it'll explain everything about how we can help to create a song for you with Songs For You. Also, if you want to find out and just contact me, please do that by Madeline Carol Chan at gmail.com. That's M A D A L E N E, Carol C A R O L, Chan C H A N at gmail.com. And you can find me on Facebook as well. So I want to hear all about, I'm just interested in helping to awaken people's creative hearts and their soul voice. That's what I'm here for. That's my divine mission. All right. Thank you, my dearest. I really appreciate you. We are going to say goodbye for now. And we're coming right back in less than three eye-opening minutes for the wise ones. <laughs> Sorry Bye, about everyone. that. It's okay. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thanks, Claudia. Thanks, Ricky. We appreciate you being here. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, Dr. Jacqueline. Bye.